Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Vladimir. How are you? Good. How about you? I'm, I'm on the phone great. now. Oh, Sorry, really? I'm on the phone. Yes. What happened to the computer? Ah, uh, well, I need to use for the exam. That oh, going yeah, out. yeah, yeah. So, how's everything? Tell me. Sorry? How's everything? Good, good. A lot of work, and I need to study so, uh, a, a period of hours. And, well, good. Okay, okay, yeah, but, I mean, you really keep busy. You are studying English, you are studying a career, and your job. <laughs> well, I need to progress. How do you say progress? Mm, to progress. I need to progress. Yeah. That's for my family. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, yeah, and besides that, uh, studying, I mean, reaching personal goals is always good. Yes, yes. Hey, I will send you perhaps tonight or tomorrow listening exercises, okay? Okay, okay. The Thanks, same, teacher. The same idea. You listen, you answer according to what you listen, and you have the option to, to check out uh, vocabulary after. Uh, okay. I will explain uh, the, to you. The episodes that you sent me, you sent me yesterday helped me a lot. That's cool. Cool. Yes. Yeah, I mean it's it's pretty nice practice. Yes. But well, as I told you guys, we are going to be practicing in order, okay? I'm gonna be sending in order the material because if you just get into the site and you look out at all the information that is there, I mean, ooh, there's a lot of information. So yes. we have to dosify what you get according to what you need. Okay. Okay. Oh, Mister, just give me a minute. I will. Okay. Back. No problem. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hello, Edwin. I'm How great. Oh, I'm you're great. 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 I'm great. Oh, you're great working. Teacher. Here, yeah. here. Ready to start. You're working. Yeah, <laughs> today is Tuesday. So you stay up all night, all night long. You stay up yeah. <laughs> all night long. Yeah. That's heavy. That's really yeah. heavy. Uh, sort of. Mes, more menos. So, so, you can say it. You can say so, so. Or you can say sort of. You see them expressions, so, so, and sort of? Sort of. Yep. Sort of. Uh, <laughs> you get used to it. But tomorrow you rest all day and all night. No. No? no? In, in day, no. What do you do during the day? Uh, the, the 11 a.m.? Uh -huh. to 1 p.m. plus. Ouch. From, from 11 p.m. Yeah. So you got class. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Um, with traffic, um, go to home. Uh, and come back. Uh -huh. It's difficult. So, two hours. Around. Around. Two hours. Uh, two hours. Yeah. <laughs> so, you better stay there. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> llevo como a las tres, cuatro de la tarde a la casa. Oh, my gosh. El tráfico del centro, horrible. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are studying accountancy, right? No, no. What do you study? GPS monitor. Oh, GPS monitor? Yeah, ah, I study is, yes. Accountancy, uh, accounting. that's what you study at the university. Ooh, yeah. so it's hard. <laughs> Sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's normal, that's normal. I understand <laughs> you. I've been through that. Ya me paso a mi. 
<ríe> ya, hay unos que les toca madrugar y otros que en la tarde. Ya, yeah, that's the way it is. My son, when he goes, well, when he was in high school, it was horrible. El bachillerato de mi hijo yeah. fue terrible because he used to wake up at, at 4, 4 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, he used to leave the house. Solía salir de casa quarter to five. 15 a las 5. Yep. So it was, <laughs> it was difficult. Yeah. Okay. Bueno, como esto no lo sé, voy a hablar en español. Yo cuando, ahorita por, eh, estoy tomando las clases en la noche, no salgo temprano de la casa, he tomado otro horario. Sino porque yo regularmente salgo de la casa, eh, me despierto a las 3, 3 y media, yes. y salgo a las 4 y media de la casa. Around yo vivo en Soyapango. Yeah. Yo, yo desde Soyapango hasta Teos. Yeah, it's, Cerrando it's los chorros. Yeah, it collapses. Collapse. Total. <laughs> Total collapse. Yeah, I know, I know. I know what you mean. It's terrible. I used to work in by just trabajé un tiempo by pasatiempo. Oh. Horrible oh. <laughs> traffic. <laughs> yeah. Terrible. I know what you mean. It's horrible. Well, that's the way with with work. Thank you, Edwin. Yeah. Welcome. Teacher. Let's see, Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Walter. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Okay. How was your day, Mister? Ah, uh, busy day. Very busy. Oh, really? Yeah, but the morning is maybe crazy. So you're tired today. Uh, so 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 mm -hmm. okay that's cool that's the good thing of being young no bueno ser joven nah. yeah that's why it's <laughs> a, a very busy day and he's like cool no problem mm. that's nice that's nice so let's see today is a tuesday tell me what time did you wake up today walter Today I wake at uh, six six twenty. I walk. I walk six twenty a.m. Oh really? You woke because up because a girl called uh, right was up very uh, early. Oh like, wait. Was walk us up. Walk us up. Yeah. Very. Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. I, in this moment I sleep and then Oh, really? Yeah. That's bad. That's bad. Mm, yeah. It's a crazy girl. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's the way it is with people. Thank you very much, Walter. Okay, teacher. Hugo. Hello, Hugo. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, mister? Uh, more relaxed than yesterday. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. How was yes. your day? Uh, very good, teacher. Very good in the work. Uh, in the morning, I had a meeting. In, in the afternoon, I my my reports. Uh, a good, a good day. A good day. That's cool. That's cool. When yes. we have work, and we can say that. It was a good day. That's excellent. Yes. So you've been busy. Tell me, what time did you wake up today? Hugo, what time did you wake up? Uh, 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 7, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. That's good. What time did you go to sleep last night? Uh, uh, 11. 11? 11. 11 p.m. That's nice. So you slept eight hours straight. Yes. <laughs> That's cool. That's nice. I mean, I envy you. Can be the, if I sleep that long, my back hurts. Si duermo tanto, me duele la espalda. 
God. Okay. Yeah. You know, that's the problem with my age. And it's el problema con nuestra edad. When you get my age, you need to be fit in order to sleep properly. Hay que estar en forma para dormir bien. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise you can get, uh, I mean, you can get hurt by sleeping. Si no se lastima uno durmiendo. You wake, Teacher, you wake up with a pain like here, another pain like here. Teacher, I don't be fit, I'm be fat. <laughs> Instead of being fit, fat. yeah, that's normal, that's normal. <laughs> Thank you, Hugo. Okay, okay. Sandra Yanira, hello. Good evening. Sí. Sandra. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Sandra? Fine, teacher. Okay, that's great, that's great. How was your day? Regular day. A regular day? Well, that's yeah. acceptable, that's acceptable. It's good to have you here in class, Sandra. It's very good to have you here. Let's see, let's see. I just want to check something with you. Let me see, Sandra. No, we are cool. We are cool. I'm just checking little somethings with people. Well, thank you, Sandra. Vanessa, good evening. Hello, Vanessa. Can you hear me? I think she's having problems with connection. Sonia. Hello, Sonia. How Hello. are you? I'm fine. How was your day? A oh, good day. Oh, really? Tell me about it. Um, I follow up um, uh, cases. Yes. Um, I'm a supervisor and serve service también, tú. Services. And services. Um, how do you say? Salí a hacer una compra de equipo. Oh, I thought you went shopping. No, pero compra para la empresa. No ok, el ok, ok. So, you, you went to make a purchase. To make a purchase. Yes, for the company. The company, okay? oh, I, I thought you have went gone. You were gone shopping. I was like, cool. Mm, al mediodía, mucho calor. At noon. At noon. Yeah. Today it was hot. Well, welcome. Only. Thank you. Susana, hello, Susana. Hi. How are you, Susana? Susana. Hello. How are you, Susana? I'm good. You're good? I'm very good. Okay, tell me, how was your day? Fine. Better than yesterday. Better than. Better than. Better than, okay, better than yesterday. Okay. Remember, better than. Listen up, guys. Cuando, cuando usamos then, it's que for comparisons. Quiere decir que, pero solamente cuando hacemos comparaciones. Okay? Better than yesterday. What means que in a question, en una pregunta. Okay? And that means que, aparte de significar eso, esa, ese, that también significa que, pero en una afirmación. Ok. So in this, in the case of Susana, she told me that today was better than yesterday. Ok. So thank you very much, Susana. Let's see, Walter Arana. Hello, Mr. Arana. How are you? Hello, teacher. I am fine. Thank you, teacher. 
Okay, that's great, that's great, Mr. Arana. So, how was your day? I... I rested at home all morning. Okay, that's uh, cool. And in the afternoon, I went to the hospital you why my why my wife okay to see an emer emergency involving a causing of hairs oh perfect sentence mister very good sentence just remember with 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 yes okay before okay. i continue thank you very much walter Ivania, hello, how are you? We were you to yesterday. Yeah, we were waiting for Ivania. I wonder what I happened. Can... Hello, how are you? Will you need teacher? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, that's great. That's great. Uh -huh, Ivania, where did you go yesterday, last night? A donde se me fue anoche? No, no, no. Um, come how night? Oh. And I have my daughter's homework. Okay, you have to do your daughter's homework. Yeah. Okay, perfect. That's good. That's always good to help the kids. Let me see. Okay. Uh, Ivania, I will send you a, a chat privately. Let's see. Okay, I'm texting you something, Ivania. Okay, guys, uh, let's see. Today we are going to check different topics. Ahora vamos a tener diferentes temas. But before getting to it, I need to just remind something. Let's see, Walter Arana and Ivania, please eh, check out in the platform the midterm exam. Necesito que me revisen en la plataforma el midterm exam. Okay? We are missing. We are missing there. And for the rest of you, remember, vamos a hacer el anuncio oficial ahorita y al final de nuevo corto. Eh, perdón, lo voy a explicar en español para que no nos queden dudas. Eh, posiblemente, we are going to have the, 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 we are going to check the final exam on Thursday. That means that for Friday, please, very please, I need everybody to have the platform complete, okay? I will be calling you and texting you if you are missing something so we can have that ready, okay? So let's continue, let's see. As I told you today, we uh, need to, we are going to cover different topics. Today we are going to make a small review about yesterday's prepositions of place. I have a PowerPoint presentation. I send them to you. I send it to you. We are also going to be working today with there is, there are, and some very interesting expressions. So we are going to have fun. So let's start, guys. Let's start with the small presentation. But before going to that, I need to get the attendance. So let me check it out. Please be ready to say present. And if you can, please activate your cameras. That's always important, okay? Let's see, Amparo Yajaira Melendez. No here yet. Antonia Elizabeth Mendez de Altamirano. Here. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro. No here. And let me check it out. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present teacher. Thank you, Edwin. 
Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Here, Hugo Ernesto Arevalo. Present teacher. Indiana de Jesús Sobando. It's not here. Indiana María Doña Estrada. No here. Ivani Elizabeth Rodríguez. Say present, please. Present, present. Thank you. Karen Alejandra Flores López. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Check it out. Ah, Mauricio's not here yet. I wonder why. Okay, Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Here. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present teacher. Thank you. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Thanks. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present teacher. Vanessa del Pilar Quintanilla. Vanessa's here, but I don't, I don't know what happened. Okay, let's continue. And Vladimir Antonio Martinez Molina. Presente. Present. Thank you. Walter Alexander Arana Cortez. Present teacher. Walter Jose Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. And Yanira del Carmen Paz de Salazar. Is absent. Okay, guys, let's continue. Okay, let me share with you the PowerPoint presentation. That is a short review of yesterday's topic. Let me see, I have it here ready. Okay, doke, let's see. Let's just give it a second. Perfect. Now guys, look it up. We have, today is class 17. Do you remember we were working with in, on, at? We use these expressions for time, but we also use them for location, okay? Remember, for time and for location. So, general, in is general, bigger, on, is a little bit more specific, smaller. At is very specific. So remember, when we talk about time, in, for time, centuries, decades, years, months, weeks, on, we use it for days or the weekend. Like May 7th, 1964, my birthday, on Friday, on the weekend. Now, at, very specific, at 7 a.m., at 12 o'clock, at 5 p.m. So, for location, when we use these expressions for location, the idea is the same. In is used in general. So, we have country, city, of neighborhood, England, in England, in London, in Chinatown. We use it for streets or avenues, on, being more specific, on Oxford Street, on the corner, address, a specific location. When we want to express this, we use at, at 734 Oxford, 734 Oxford Street, at the store. Do you remember yesterday I was explaining this to you? Okay, before we continue, any question about the, 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 the pyramid? I think that with the pyramid is easier to understand, right? Creo que así es un poquito más fácil de entender. Yes or no? Si o peor? Because I see people like, uh. okay, remember, remember, remember. Easy to Remember, at specific, it's in order, at very specific, okay? The next one is, according to the pyramid, let's project it, uh, is on, a little bit bigger. And in is in general, like in El Salvador, 
in San Salvador. Do you remember yesterday we did the, that exercise? Let's check it out in an exercise here in the presentation. Okay? Perhaps that way it's going to be easier. Veámoslo en la presentación en un ejercicio. Okay, let's see. When we are giving addresses, cuando estamos dando direcciones, we use this expression, go straight ahead on. Go straight or go ahead or go on. Las tres expresiones, go straight, go ahead, or go on, mean the same. Las tres expresiones significan lo mismo. Siga derecho. Then we have, okay, you see, that's go straight. Then we have turn left. A la izquierda. Then we have turn right. Girar a la derecha. Okay. Some prepositions of place are on. You see, on. Above. I explained this yesterday to you. Above. Over. You see, on esta cabalita. Above, there's a bigger space. Over, a small space. In front of, this is easy, right? Beside or next to, al lado, a la par, below, abajo, under, debajo. Behind, behind is atrás de. So we have behind, beside, in, on their own. Another way to, to look at the prepositions of place. In this case, we are talking about prepositions of place and movement. Up, down, out of. What are they? In, in, on, under, over. You see? Over. At, Specific. Across, al cruzar. Along, a lo largo de. It's with the rest of them. Uh, mostly, let's focus on this. Between. Look at between. Entre dos. That's between. Okay? Always remember, between, entre dos. So, let's see. We got a little map here. We got the bank, the police station, the store. They are in Main Street as the post office, the drugstore, the movie theater. Now the school and the restaurant, they are in Central, they are on Central Avenue. We got the on First Street, we got the library. On Second Avenue, we got the church, the hospital. So let's see. The police station is Related to the bank and the store, Sonia, tell me. This is the police station. And we are using as a reference the bank and the store. What's the missing word? It's next to. Mm, the bank and the store. En relación al banco ah, y la tienda. Oh, between. Perfect. Thank you. Uh -huh. Now, the drugstore is across from, right? The drugstore is across from the police station, okay? You see, the drugstore is across from the police station. Now, number three, the school is, let's see, Hugo. School, school. Related to the restaurant. School. Here? Ah, uh, um, sería... Um, what do you think? Un lado. Next to? Um, beside. Next to. Let's see. Next to, perfect. Thank you, Hugo. Okay. Mr. Walter Ruiz, the train station is. 
Where's the train? Oh, here is the train station related to the school. Across from. Okay, let's see. Across from. Perfect. Mr. Walter Arana. The drugstore is related to the movie theater. Let's check it out. Here's the movie theater and here's the drugstore. Oh, the the movie theater and the post office. Between. Okay, between. Perfect. Thank you. Now, let's see. We got here a house. We got a dog. We got a tree. We got a car. We got the sun. We got the house. Let's see. Let's see. Now, the house is Ivania. Tell me, related to the house, to the car. Um, be, be behind behind mm, perfect the house is behind the car number two sandra the dog is related to the sun sandra under or below? Abajo. Under or below? Cuando Under. Below. Hay un ah, espacio. Below. Remember, there's a space. Mm -hmm. Okay? Thank you. Now, let's Thank see. You. Let's see. Let me check out all the participants I got here. Erwin, number three is yours. The tree is, oops, there was a mistake. Related to the house. Or oh, the tree is to the, of the house. Left yes. or right? Left. Let's see. Yes. Perfect. Excellent. Thanks. Walter Arana, the car is related to the house. Sorry, teacher. The, the car is in front of the house. In front of the house. Thank you. Now we have that the sun is above the dog. Okay? The sun is above the dog. Number six. The house is related to the dog and the tree. Let's see. Let's see. Where's... Um, hmm, Sonia. Between? Between, perfect. The house is between the dog, between, between the dog and the tree. Susana, this is yours, number seven. The dog is to the left or right? Uh, right. To the right, perfect, thank you. Now, let's see, we got here a table, a cat, and a flower base. Now- I have a question, I have a question with the exercise anterior. Which is, which is the question? ¿Por qué no puedo decir que el perro está al lado de la casa? Hmm. Porque- Hay una, o sea, hay una, hay un, hay un espacio, pues, pero ¿cómo puedo? No, no, Interpretar no, no, no. en ocasiones look, look, eso. Look, Susana. The thing is this. No le están. Si usted se fija, el perro está al. A la. Aquí ah, dice okay. a la. Ok, ok. Entonces no yes, podemos yes. decir a la next to. Ok. Ok. The dog is tú sería si fuera diferente. The dog is solamente el. Solamente Gary está aquí y estaría el espacio. The dog is next to the house. But in this okay. case, is to the right of the house. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is Mauricio? Hello, Mauricio. This is yours. The cat is? The cat is under, abajo de la mesa. Let's check it out. Perfect. The cat is under the table. Excellent. Walter Ruiz, number two, the base is? Um. On the table, perfect. Number 
three um, Ivania number three the flowers are and the flowers are in in the base perfect excellent now guys we got something more complex here let's see look at this we have the ball is under the table. Now we have basket and we have table. Look at the exercise. I'm sorry. We are going to jump that exercise because I need you to check this. This is how we give instructions, okay? Like we have here. We have the train station, the bank, the police station, and we have our point of origin. This is where we start. So. Excuse me, Jess, how do I get to the post office? We are here in the post office. Where is it? Okay, we got A, B, and C. Go past the hotel. We go in Second Avenue. We go past the hotel and turn left on Main Street. We turn left. We go one block and turn right. So it means that the post office is letter A. Okay? Entendemos el ejercicio? With these instructions, you have to find if it's A, B, or C. Letter A, we did it together. El A ya lo hicimos juntos. We start here. We go past the hotel, turn left on Main Street, one block, and turn right. It's across from the train station. I cruzar la calle, la train station. Let's check next one. So in next one, we need to find out how to get to the supermarket. We start here. The instructions are, it's easy. Turn left at the corner on Apple Street. Go one block. The supermarket is on the corner of First Avenue and Apple Street next to the police station. So tell me, Sonia, which one is it, B or C? Um, espérame, espérame. Que cruza, dice, en el apple, una calle, en the supermarket, on the corner of Fierce Avenue, and Apollo Street. C. Let us see. Yes. Perfect. So remember, mm -hmm. we have here. Remember, mm -hmm. it says turn left. We are here. So we turn left mm -hmm. on Apple Street. Mm -hmm. We walk one block. Una cuadra. Mm -hmm. And it is on the corner of First Avenue and Apple. Está en la esquina. Next mm -hmm. to the police station. So, of course, it's letter C. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's look at the third one. Of course, this one is easy. How do I get to, to the restaurant? You go straight past the bookstore and the hotel. Turn left onto Main Street. We go past the bookstore and the hotel. Turn left onto Main Street. It's the second building. One, two, on the left. Si vamos caminando para acá, esta es la left. Between the hotel and the bank. Okay, guys? So, let's see. Hi, Sarah. I'm glad you can come to my party on Friday night. My house is easy to find. From your house, go straight up Broadway to the corner of Broadway and 2nd Avenue. Turn right. Go straight to blocks and then turn left. It's on the left on the corner of First Avenue and Seltra Street. See you on Friday. Okay, guys, tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Where is it? Donde esta la casa? Where is Amanda's house? A, B, C, or D? Hello, who's got it? ¿Quién la tiene? Our point of origin is Sara's. De aquí salimos. 
es A. Y sí. Ok. Somebody said A, somebody say C. Let's check it out. Ah, no, 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 no. Let's check it out, let's check it out. It says, from your house, from Sarah's house, go straight up Broadway. Broadway it's Street. C. Okay. Mm -hmm. To the corner yeah. of Broadway and second. Okay, this is the corner of Broadway and second. Turn right. Cruzamos para acá. Go straight two blocks. One, two blocks. Sí. Then turn left. Cruzamos a la izquierda. Mm -hmm. It's on the left. Está a la izquierda. On the corner of First Avenue and Central Street. So it's letter C. Sí. Okay, that's Amanda's house. Let's see, let's see, just let me, uh, 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 what am I gonna do? I'm sorry, perfect. So giving instructions is a little bit interesting, right? So today, uh, do you remember that you got your, your maps? Tenemos nuestros mapas, right? All our workplaces. Perfect. Okay. What are we going to do? Easy, cheesy. Hey, by the way, before I pass by, let me see. I need to get a present from Evelyn. Say present, please, Evelyn. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss, Mrs. Molina. Now, Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank Sorry, you. my connection is trash. Unstable. It's unstable. I understand you. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your connection is like this. Look, unstable. Yeah. Remember me last week. ¿Se acuerdan de mí jueves y viernes? Terrible. Connection was terrible those two days. But that happens, Mauricio. Don't worry. That happens to all of us. A todos nos pasa. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We are going to continue now. Hey, that's a good one. Your background is cool. Yeah, it, it really represents bad connection. Eso de verdad representa mala conexión. Okay, we are going to work with our little maps. What are you going to do? Okay, if it's possible for you, si les es posible, uh, you are going to be working in groups and you are going to share the, your little map and you are going to explain your classmates where your workplace is. Y le van a contar a sus compañeros dónde queda su lugar de trabajo, okay? For doing this, we are going to have five minutes. How five minutes are the time allowed for this activity? Just let me check. Okay. Groups are created. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, this is okay. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, just need to do something here. No, it's okay, perfect. Let's start, guys. Please, jump in. Vamos al ejercicio. Okay, 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 okay. It's under he's taking a, 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 okay. a, a meter. Okay, okay, let's see. Where do you work, Evelyn? 
haciendo? ¿Dónde trabaja? Give me the instructions. I want to go look for you. Quiero ir a buscarla. Okay. I work in the number eight, eight day in San Salvador. Between Embassy of Panama and the Easy Security Company. And between Los Bambúes and Castaños Street. Um, near Fonat on Omnilogic. Oh, yeah, I know there. Fonat. Mm. Yeah, it's next to a house, Mauricio. Es a la parte de una casa. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Lo que pasa es que no con... O sea, sí conozco las Bugambilias, conozco la, la San Francisco, pero no me ubico el Fonat. Oh, yeah, but. The Bugambilias is the, 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 the la one que va a dar la ley para la, uh, quiero ver, uh, a la Olímpica. Um, yep. No? Yep, that's Bugambilias. Mm, la que va a dar la, la mm, Olímpica. A la Olímpica es las Amapolas. Es cierto. Uh -huh. Esa es una calle. Now I got lost. Oh, ya me perdí yo. Uh -huh, es cierto, porque la que, las Amapolas es la que va a dar al árbol de la paz. Exacto. Desde el árbol de la paz hasta llegar a la Bernal. La sí, ya la... de ahí se convierte mm -hmm. en 59. Sí. Después de Asta. Oh, okay, hey, that's cool. Mm -hmm. This lady knows her streets. Ella sí. But, que a El Salvador y on la del... Bugambilla Avenue. Uh, near Ivania, they left you alone. Me la abandonaron. Don't worry, Ivania. I will move you right now. Se dice un kilómetro. 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 Kilometer, tier one. Kilometer. The high. Tier one. ¿Cómo sería, teacher? A half, para y medio. And a half. And a half. Yes. And a half. Tier one and a half. Tier yeah, one. Yeah, you can say kilometer thirty one point five. Very wide. Half. Very easy. Nuestra dirección, location. Yeah, it's <laughs> all along the road. Yeah. Yeah. yeah See, you need this. Yeah. That's the road to Sonsonate, right? Yeah. Road to Sonsonate. Mm. Like no. Sonsonate. Yeah. yeah. It's next to Unity. It's the unit. The unit company. Yeah. I used to travel that street. Yo solía viajar por ahí, but mostly at night. It's more around. complicated. It's for Hugo. Sure. <laughs> Hugo is next to gas station. The Puma gas station. In the case of the Department of the de la Libertad, how would you say? Department of the Libertad. Teacher, I have it as the Libertad Department. It's also okay. Remember that if I say the Department of the Libertad, yes. Uh -huh. If I say the Department of La Libertad, is the same as, as if I say, es lo mismo que si yo digo, La Libertad's Department. Yes. Right? Porque okay. con el apóstrofe S, okay. lo que hice fue poner la posesión de lo que estaba a continuación. Right? You remember the Saxon genitive. Eso lo vimos the first week. Primera semana. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. 60 yes. seconds. No, teacher. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Cool. But it's easy. Yeah, it is. Yeah, very <laughs> easy. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, I will just take two persons. Just let me check on something, please. What happened here? Mm -hmm. 
Well, I don't see a problem, but I don't know what happened. Okay. It's just that it gets complex. Okay, let's see. Mauricio, tell me your workplace, please. My workplace is at work in the SAC. Okay. And this is located on the Pan American Highway. Okay, kilometer, perfect. Kilometer, kilometer 10 and a half Santa Tecla La Libertad in front of the Maya Country Club. In front of, oh, that's an easy, easy, easy point of reference. Okay. Okay, Sonia, your turn. Yeah. Yep. Um, I work in Hell Salvador. Okay. It's located in the San Francisco neighborhood on Las Bugambilias Avenue, number ocho eight eight J. <laughs> In San Salvador. Okay. Between, yes, yes. Between Embassy of Panama and the East Security Company. Perfect. And between Los Bambúes and Castaños Street. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. You can say Panama's Embassy. Panama's Embassy. Yes. Okay. Panama's Embassy. Bugambilias. That's a flower, right? This is una flor. Yes. Yeah. It's a it's a hanging flower. It's on a flor colgante. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, I remember. Let's see. Thank you very much, Sonia. Now let's see who's okay. going to be next. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hugo, please, Hugo, help us. Hello, teacher. Tell me. Where is your work I located? Work. I work in at I work at CLT. It's located in Ateos, Department of Libertad. Okay. On the road right, that's that from Sonsonate leads to San Salvador next to Puma Gas Station. Okay, cool. Easy to get there also. Fácil llegar ahí. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry for the rest of you, but we'll jump to another activity. Lo siento por el resto, pero vamos a otra actividad. But I check out in the groups that you were sharing the information. And I got your 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 homework here. The image you sent me is going to help you because in today's class, le va a aparecer en el foro que vamos a agregar uh, some sentences saying where is a place located, okay? But don't worry, I will explain later. Me explico luego. Okay, now it's the time for the conversation. This conversation, I didn't send it to you, but we are going to do it like this, okay? First off, uh, please do not open your manuals. Primero, no vamos a trabajar con el manual yet. Just listen to me, okay? Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. I repeat. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. 
I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, now we are going to be working on the manual on page number 41. So if you got your manuals, you can open or if not, I'm going to share the screen. Okay. Si tenemos el manual, lo podemos ver. Si no, le voy a compartir pantalla. Let's do it. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Oh. Uh, perfect. Okay, we got it. Let's make it bigger and bigger. And I think we can make it a little bit more bigger. No. Okay. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. I repeat. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, guys, let's see. We are going to practice the conversation, then we are going to perform it here. So let me divide you in groups. Let me recreate the group. Let's see. Okay, groups are created. Perfect. Please jump in. Okay, let's see, let's see. I'm sorry, Ivania. Uh, I need to move you. ¿Qué entendiste que vamos a hacer? Practice the conversation. Yes, solo that. practice. Okay. Hey, teacher, tense. Dale. Si querés, comenzar vos. Va. Dale. Dale. Dice. 
Hello, can you help me? Where is the Merwood building? I don't need you here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? I got told me to go to the buildings on the main street. I know it. It's down the strip on the left side. This side. Thanks. Thanks. I had to ask you something else. Is there a train center? Hello, hello. Can you help me? Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four building. Which one do you need? I girl told I girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. Sandra, we are doing the conversation. Teacher, se me descargó el teléfono y no estoy ubicada en qué qué es lo que están haciendo. Perdón. Okay, Sandra, easy. Okay, let's see, let's see. You are, I am Will, you are Tania. Can you see it? ¿Lo puede ver? Yo leo lo de Tania. Yes, I will start. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne Beer building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four building buildings. buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it is, no, I know it is down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center on the Building, ¿verdad? Building. The building between Main and King Stream. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. You see? You see? Okay, let me stop this. And I'm going to tell everybody that just 60 seconds. If you want, we can go back to the main room, okay? Okay. See, they still got 30 seconds, 35 seconds. We are just waiting for everybody to come back. Vamos a esperar los que vuelvan. Hey, Mr. Ruiz, I'm losing you. Ya casi lo pierdo. So, Me. so. Don't worry, don't worry. You are going to start this exercise so you get rid of the sleepiness. Usted va a comenzar para que le vaya el sueño. Okay, but before anything else, I need to get the attendance again. So let me check. Okie dokie, but before that, let me check that everybody's here. Uh, yep, nobody's there. Hey, got a couple of students who die in the process. Tengo varios que cayeron en el proceso. From coming to the rooms, let's see. I'll go, I will get the attendance, guys. Amparo Yajaira Melendez, absent. Antonia Elizabeth Mendez de Altamirano, absent. Uh, Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro, he was there. Acabo de ver. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present teacher. Thank you. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. She's been around. Por ahí andado. Indiana de Jesús Obando. Absent. And Hugo Ernesto Arevalo. Oops. Mm, present teacher. Thank you. 
ya me había olvidado. Eh, en Indiana María Doña Estrada, absent. Ivania Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Alejandra Flores López. She's somewhere. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present teacher. Roxana Claribel Trejos. Absent. And let's see. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present teacher. Thank you. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present teacher. Thank you. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Thanks. Vanessa del Pilar Quintanilla. Let me see. I could swear that yes, Vanessa's here. Yes, okay. Hey. Antonio Martinez Lina. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. And Walter Alexander Arana Cortez. Present teacher. Walter Jose Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. And Yanira del Carmen Paz de Salazar. She's absent. Okie dokie. Perfect. Now let's see. The conversation. Hey, Claudia Guadalupe, say present, please. I think she's having problems with connection. Okay, let's see who's going to start. Oh, Walter, Walter was the first volunteer. Walter and Sandra, you start. Present, good Thank evening. Thank you, good evening, Guadalupe. Thank you. So you got it, guys? Lo tienen, or you need me to, to, to show it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, so you start, Walter. Hello, can you heal me? Can you help me? Where is in Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. They are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Then. I had to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center on the building between Main and King Street. I had some interviews, sir. Thank you. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Perfect. Just remember, Walter, again, again. Now let's see, Hugo and Ivania. Hugo, you start, please. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to a girl, a girl, a girl told me to go to the building on the main street. Building. The main street. Building. Building. Building on the main street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of, a lot of, Training center on the building between May and King Street. I, I have, have I have some I have some interviews, dear. Thank you again. Bye bye. Interviews, interviews, interviews. Okay. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Edwin and Sonia. Okay. Edwin, you start. Hey, teacher. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Um, don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? Aguirre told me to go to the building 
on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I hate to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center on the building between Main and King Street. Hey, song interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Girl, 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 Edwin, girl. Perfect. Now let's see who's going to be next. Uh, next one is going to be Mauricio. Mauricio, you are next. And Evelyn. So, and Evelyn. Yes. Okay. Evelyn. Don't, hello. Uh, Can you help don't me? Have the, you don't have the uh, image? Okay. Don't, don't have the general. Don't worry, don't worry. I will I can share it for you. Okay. Thank you. Let's just give her a second. Okay, here you are. Can you see it now? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Let's start again. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? And don't live here. Live. Live. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on the main street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thank I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot a lot of training center on the building between May and King Street. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, perfect. Just remember, you can say interviews. You can also say interview instead of saying interview. Interview. Okay, let's see who's missing. Walter Arana. Walter and Susana. So, Walter, you start. Okay. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't like here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. <coughs> Which one do you need? I, a girl told me to do to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's on the street on the left side. Thank. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Just remember, Walter. Yes, yes. Building. Building. Okay? Building. Okay. And building. interviews. 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 Okay. Thank no, thanks to you. Now, guys, let me... Let's analyze that conversation. Because I didn't have no questions from nobody. Nadie me preguntó. And that's weird. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Sorry, make it big. Okay, like this. Okay, let's see. Where is the Melbourne building? Building, edificio. I don't live here, don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Training center, gym. Okay, this is gym. Is there a gym? There are a lot of training center or there are a lot of gym on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. 
Okay, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There is and there are those two expressions. Let me explain to you. Let me check on something. Mm -hmm. Okay. There is is used for singular. There are is used for plural. For us, in Spanish, no difference. In Español no hay diferencia. Because there is, we will understand it as, nosotros lo entenderíamos como I, when we are talking about the presence, the existence of something, cuando hablamos de la presencia, la existencia de algo, and there are, for us in Spanish, means I. So both means exactly the same for us. But there is is used for singular. And there are is used for plural. Let me show it to you. Déjenme mostrárselo here. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're going to do it like this. Okay, we have, there is, and we have, there are. Okay, these two expressions for us in Spanish, they mean exactly the same. They mean I. Now, what's the difference? Oh, the difference is that this one is used for singular and that this one is used for plural. Okay? So, what do we mean? We have there is, we have there are, but let's remember that this one works like this, okay? Now, look at one example. There is a computer on my desk. In this case, I am saying, okay? In this case, I am saying, there is singular. Okay, I'm talking in singular. Now, look at the next example. I say, there are two computers on my desk. So, in this case, I am using the plural, okay? There are is in plural. How do I identify that it's in plural? Okay, in this case, there is a, look, this is singular. In the second case, I am using two. I'm saying the number. Of course, it's plural. And besides that, on the name, I am adding the word in plural. Because I'm not saying one computer. I'm saying computers. Computers. Okay? There is a computer on my desk. Singular. There are two computers on my desk. Plural. Two computers. Okay? It's like this. Uh, there is one teacher in this class. But right now, right now in this moment, there are 13 students. There are 13 students in this class, in this moment. Okay? In esta clase, en este momento, there are 13 students. Okay? Go back. Something that is very important that we remember is that we can say 
There are many, podemos utilizar el many, when we talk about the plural, or we can use a lot, muchos, also when we talk about plural. Let me just take a picture of this. So you can have the explanation there in the chat. Okay, now let's look at some other examples. There are many students in my class. There are a lot of students in my class. Now look at this sentence. There are lots of students in my class. Okay, we have here three different sentences. There are many. There are many students in my class. Many, muchos. There are a lot of students in my class. I, muchos. There are lots of students in my class. In this case, these three refer to the same. Muchos. Okay, many. A lot of, lots of. All three of them refer to, they are plural. They are talking about muchos. A lot of, lots of. Okay? There are many students in my class. There are a lot of students in my class. There are lots of students in my class. Now, if you remember, in the conversation, we, what we had was, there are a lot of training centers. Hay muchos. We are not specifying the number, but we are saying that it's a big quantity. But still, we can count them. Pero aún así los podemos contar. Okay? A lot of is used with countable and uncountable. El a lot of se usa con contables e incontables. Now, many is just used with countable. El many se utiliza solamente con contables. Okay? There are many students in my class. Oh, I can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lo puedo contar. Now, there are A lot of, there are a lot of students, a lot of people studying English around the world. Listen to that sentence. There are a lot of people studying English around the world. There's actually, is there's a lot of people. There is a lot of people. Como people es una palabra que envuelve un grupo, la ponemos como un singular. Okay, there is a lot of people studying English around the world. Hay mucha gente estudiando inglés alrededor del mundo. In this case, I am using a lot of also for something that I cannot count. También para algo que no puedo contar. When I refer to a few quantity, oh, there's still some water on my bottle. Todavía hay un poquito. Sonia, can you show me your bottle of water, please? You got a big bottle of water. What? Can you show me your bottle? Muéstrame su botella. Okay, tell me, Sonia. Is there a lot of water or just a little bit? A few? A, a, a lot of water. Tiene ahorita a lot or just a few? Ah, 
No, es como es poquito, es mol. A few. A few. A few. ¿Eh? Un poco. Mm -hmm. A few. That's yes, used, you. thank you, Sonia. That's used when mm -hmm. you are talking about something that cannot be counted. Ese lo utilizamos cuando hablamos de cosas incontables. Okay? Now, let's continue with the exercise because this is something that we learn mostly through exercise. Okay? And you got the picture that I sent you? Revisaron la picture? Les cayó? Yes? Perfect. Tomorrow, I will bring another PowerPoint. Mañana igual voy a traer una PowerPoint so we can review there is and there are. Para que repasemos de nuevo el there is y there are. Okay? So, don't worry, don't worry. No se preocupe. We will be doing it like this. Lo estamos haciendo de esta manera. First the explanation, then we analyze it, and then a little bit of exercise. Y luego un poquito de ejercicio. Okay, but right now we are going to go back again to groups, working in groups. What are we going to do? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Okay. I, I have a question. Yes, tell me, Sonia. Um, you can um, grabar or record the conversation, the exercise. The previous one, la que ya tuvimos. Aha. Para practicarlo. Yes, yeah, sure. No worry, okay. I'll, I'll do it in a few minutes. Igual que, lo, que el otro día. Yes, I'll do it in a few minutes. En unos minutos se las pongo. Okay. okay. No problem, okay. no problem. Perfect. Thanks. Okay. It's the first time somebody raises the hand like that. That was cool. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay. Oh my gosh. I told you. Oh, I just remember. Look around yourself. Everybody, look at me. Look around yourself. Ve alrededor de usted. What are you going to do? Okay, you are going to tell your classmates about two things. Well, you are going to tell two sentences using there is, two sentences using there are, talking about the place where you are right now. Hablando del lugar donde están en este momento. Okay? I'll give you an example. Like, right now in this moment, let's see. There is a printer right next to me. There is a printer right next to me. Okay? Hay un printer a mi lado. There are, perfect, Vladimir, there are many books on my bookcase. Hay muchos libros en mi librera. Okay? There, there is one door in this room. There are many pens and markers in my hand. Okay? So, you are going to tell your classmates about the stuff that is next to you. Like I can say, okay, look, there is one whiteboard in this room or behind me, there is one eraser right here. Okay? That's what you are going to do. Like Sonia can say, oh, there are there is one balloon next behind Sonia. There is one balloon. Yeah. Okay. Look for another one. Piensa en otra. I can say like there's one door behind Vladimir. Hay una puerta. Yes, there is. Okay. That's what we are going to do. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Do you understand the activity? Entendemos la actividad? Yes? Okay. So we finally, we will know what is next behind or with Mauricio. Vamos a saber al final que, al fin, que es lo que está alrededor de Mauricio. We always see a background. Siempre vemos un fondo. Okay, let's see, guys. Let me see. Let me create the groups. I will recreate the groups because you are going to be working 
in like this. Okay, let's start. Please jump in. Okay. We say one, uh, one in this order, one Ivania, one Sandra, one me. Uh, hmm. There is a charger, Ivania. There is. Remember, there is es para singular. There are es para plural. Like, there is one blue pen in my hand, you can say. Right? Okay. Or you can say, there is a charger next to me. Hay un cargador ahí en la parte. Right? <laughs> you see? You can yeah. use the vocabulary. Yeah. That's why I'm asking you to describe what's around you. Okay. You got it now? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. 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 Behind of me, there is a door. Behind me. Behind me. Yes. Behind me, there is a door. Do you remember, Vladimir, behind the music? Uh huh. Behind the music. <laughs> yeah, an MTV program. Uh huh. There are. Next to? There, there is or there are? There are next to? No, no. there are what? Primero tiene que ser uh, que ropa. Okay. Oh, okay. There are clothes. There are clothes. Next to me. Next to me. Uh, what? Hello, teacher. Hello, guys. How is it going? Come on. Bye. Next, next to me is the, my bed. Is my okay. bed. There is one bell next to me. There is one bell next to me. There is. There is. There singular. Is. Okay. Remember, there is for singular. Uh, um, question. There is. Is it's, blackboard or whiteboard? That's a, a whiteboard. Whiteboard. <laughs> whiteboard. <laughs> there is next to me my bell. Okay, there. Come. No, no, no. In this case, tendría que ser así. My bed. No, es que no podríamos decirlo así. There is one bell next to me. ¿Cómo? There is one bell. Hay una ah, hay cama. una cama. Exacto. No es, ma... no es mi cama, es mi cama. <risa> yes. Es mi cama. Yes, but then you are not using there is and there are. Pero entonces ya no sería there is y there are. Because you will say, oh, a bed is next to me. Or oh, my okay. bed is next to me. Usted me estaría diciendo, my bed is next to me. You cannot say uh -huh. my. Solo quiere que diga there uh, is la there mía. Are. There are. There are. To myself. No, there are next, my. next to me. A bed. Okay. Listen, Mauricio. Escucha el orden. There is, luego del there is, el qué. ¿Qué es lo que hay? There bell, is bell, bell. one bell. Ok, primero dice el, el there is. Luego pone usted okay. lo que está y luego la posición. Ok. okay. Fíjense que quizás lo voy a sacar y buen punto el que acabamos de hacer acá. Lo voy a sacar, les voy a explicar eso y lo voy a enviar de nuevo. Yeah. Ok. Well. No terminamos, el teacher, Leon. No worries. Ok, everybody finish, right? No. No finish. 
No le dieron a aceptar ahí a salir. No worry, they're gonna, they're gonna be kicked out in 30 seconds. El sistema los va a sacar en 30 segundos. That's the way it is. Una vez le doy que cierre, cierra. Ah, entonces usted es el que nos saca. ¿Ya? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, okay. There was just something that I didn't explain and uh, Mauricio pointed out to me. Mauricio me lo mencionó y hubo algo que no expliqué. Okay, let's see. I will, I just need to clarify a little point that Mauricio pointed out to me. Mauricio me señaló un punto that I didn't explain. So I will share it with you right now. So we can uh, like check it out. Okay. And the point is like this, look. We have, there is a bell next to me. Alguien me dijo esta oración. There is a bell next to me. Okay. When we are working with this, okay, we have the there is right here. Then we have what? I'm sorry, what? What do I mean with what? ¿Qué es lo que quiero decir con el what? I am referring to, me refiero al qué. Okay? I'm sorry, my bad. I'm talking about el qué. A ver, right? There is a ver. And then at the end, we have the position, okay? Or the location. Luego al final ponemos the location, okay? That means where. ¿Qué quiere decir? El donde. Right? So we have there is, la expresión hay. Luego, ¿qué es lo que hay? Y luego, ¿dónde? Right? So, there is a bell next to me. Si ustedes me van a usar una de las prepositions of place, este es el orden. Ok? That's the order you have to follow. Questions about this? There is a bell next to me. Yep. There is a door behind me. Exactly. So remember, that's the order we are following. Ese es el orden que vamos siguiendo. Questions? No? Okay, let's see. Vladimir, you start. Tell okay. me. Okay. Uh, from me or from Walter Ruiz? Tell me about Mr. Ruiz. Okay, Mr. Ruiz, Mr. Ruiz. Uh, there is a smart TV behind, behind him. Walter? Him. Behind him. Yes, that was yesterday's uh, explanation. I explained it. Yes, sorry, sorry, sorry. And there, there are clothes left to him. Perfect. And there is a door right to him. On the uh, right? On his right. On his right, sorry, on his right. On his right. There is a door on his right. There is a laptop in front of him. A what? In front of, in okay. front of him. A laptop. Oh, a, a laptop. Computer. Yeah, laptop. Uh, computer. Uh, well, that's all, teacher. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's a laptop. Do you know what is laptop. a laptop? ¿Saben por qué se llaman laptop? No, I don't know. Nobody knows? Nadie sabe? Laptop. No, just... Okay. Eh, top quiere decir encima de. Okay. Now, lap. ¿Qué quiere decir lap? Lap es el regazo. El regazo. 
The words in Spanish. Mm, yeah, I know, I know what you mean, Mauricio. Hay que conseguirse un ventilador. Ok. Eh, el regazo, Mauricio knows what it's regazo. It's, that's a word in Spanish. Es una palabra en español. Es la parte de nuestras piernas que está de la cintura hacia abajo cuando nos sentamos. Que es donde nos colocamos. La computadora. That's why they are called laptops. Because they go on top of our lap. Porque van encima de nuestro lap. Ok. That's why the name is laptop. Ok, thank you. It was just a, a commercial. Now let's see who's next. Edwin, tell me. Tell me about your, your room. What's around you, Edwin? Hugo, Evelyn, and Sonia. Yeah, but don't worry. Tell me about yours. Ah. There is an air condi conditioner. An air conditioner. Conditioner on my office. And there are a lot of screen on my office. Okay. Screens. Screens. Perfect. Screens. And now let's see. Uh, Hugo, tell me your sentences, please. Um, hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, there is a teddy next to me. Okay, perfect. Um, there are many shoes in my room. Many shoes. Many, many shoes in my room. Okay, there are many shoes in my room. Perfect, Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Your turn. Uh, so, in front of me, it's my laptop. Okay, there's a laptop in front. There of is me. a laptop in front of me. There are a smart TV and soundbar behind of me. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, Mr. Arana. There is a whiteboard in the okay. house. Perfect. Um, there are two cell phones. Ooh. In the hand, in the two hands. In my, okay, on my hands, on my hands. On my hands. Wow, cool. <laughs> Excellent, thank you very much. Now let's see, Mauricio, your turn. My turn. Behind me are my wife wallets. Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yours, carteras. yours is no. a wallet. Hers yes. are purses. Purses. Okay, yours. Carteras. La, de, okay. la del hombre es a wallet. La del hombre es wallet. Cierto, muy cierto. Purses. Okay. okay, oh, I'm sorry, Mauricio. They could be purses or they could be handbags. Porque algunas de ellas usan handbags. Eh, ya, para ya para distinguirlas ahí sí ya me perdió son carteras todas okay. yeah yeah I know I know I understand you I understand you but handbag is the small one that they carry on their hand like llevo, portan en la mano that's a handbag okay, okay. the rest of them are okay <laughs> there is bed there is a bed next to me okay perfect Um, that's, it. that's it. That's it. Susana, your turn, please. Okay. There is one refrigerator in front of the kitchen. Okay. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Susana. Your sentence is perfect. Just that it's mostly used, normalmente utilizamos la palabra fridge. There is a fridge. Fridge. There is a fridge. There is a fridge in front of the kitchen. Okay, perfect. There's a fridge. Okay. And there are many kids in my house. Okay, excellent. Excellent. There are many kids in your house. Yeah, it's true. You got four. Excellent. Great. Ivania, your turn. Um, there are many ornaments on the wall. 
Okay, perfect. Um, there is a there is a bag in my hand. Okay, and there are a lot of dogs in your house. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Anya. Perfect. Sandra, your turn. There is a night table. Okay. There is a window on my right side. Side. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Evelyn. Um there, there are many books next to me. Perfect. Uh, there is a mirror in front of me. In front of me. On me. Of, of. Of me. Perfect. Perfect. Of me. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now let's see. I guess that's it. That's all, no? Creo que eso fuimos todos. Uh, okay, Sonia, I'm sorry. My bad. That's it. Okay. Your turn. There is a window behind me. Okay. And there are a lot of balloons on my table. Balloons. Balloons. Okay. And something else is that some people, I'm sorry, some people say behind me and some people like me, I say behind me. Okay, both are acceptable, okay? Behind me or behind me. You can say behind me and it's okay and you can say behind me and it's okay. Now, let's see, how are we doing up to here? Como vamos a sacar? Questions about there is and there are. Please, tell me. No doubt, no dudas? Okay. Again, the commercial, the nuevo el comercial del inicio de la clase. I'm sorry, I will switch into Spanish, cambio el español. Eh, por favor, recordarles, la plataforma debe estar completada para el día viernes. Cuando terminemos la clase, inmediatamente terminemos la clase, yo debo de ingresar esas notas. Okay? Así que el día jueves nosotros vamos a darle un repaso a la, al final exam, al examen final. Solamente para verlo, analizarlo, ver las instrucciones, por si hay alguna duda con un ejercicio. Yo voy a estar muy, muy pendiente de, de mi teléfono, por si alguno de ustedes trabaja durante el día, la noche, tiene alguna duda, voy a estar muy pendiente para ayudarles. Yo tengo la aplicación igual, si no estoy trabajando en mi computadora, que es lo que normalmente paso haciendo hoy en día, si no estoy en la computadora o me he levantado en algún momento, también tengo la aplicación en el teléfono, puedo accesar a todas las secciones fácilmente, verificar si tienen alguna duda con algún ejercicio y ayudarles, así que no se preocupen, con gusto yo les ayudo, pero por favor recordemos eso, lo necesitamos terminado, el día de mañana espero que les envíen a ustedes las, la nota de satisfacción con las instrucciones recuerden, por favor esa no la tocamos hasta el día viernes, que la vamos a hacer acá juntos. Yo voy a traerles una presentación donde va a ir explicado el paso a paso, al menos de las generalidades. Lo que es la evaluación en sí, ustedes la hacen, de acuerdo a cómo ustedes han percibido eh, el curso, ¿ok? Ahí ustedes van a evaluar un montón de aspectos. Pero ya en eso sí no me meto, eso es personal. Les explico por qué. Porque al final de la evaluación, cuando usted la haga, yo todavía les voy a pedir a ustedes una captura de pantalla de la última que les sale cuando ustedes envían. Entonces, por eso lo vamos a hacer juntos. Así que, por favor, aunque usted me lo reciba, no lo haga. Y no se me, no lo trate de, diga, lo voy a revisar. Desde el momento que usted le dio a enviar una vez, automáticamente queda registrado en el sistema de Insaforo. Y luego hacer correcciones se nos vuelve un poquito más complicado. ¿Ok? Así que eso sí es una instrucción que tengo de lo más clara. Esa sección hacemos juntos, todos nosotros, el día viernes acá. Yo les voy a informar a qué horas, porque me van a asignar una hora específica para que la realicemos. Porque va a haber alguien de soporte técnico acompañándonos en ese momento para, por si hay alguna duda, algún paso, ellos inmediatamente pueden acceder al sistema y verificar qué sucede. 
Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? Eh, solo una consulta. ¿Cuándo es la última clase? Friday. This coming este, Friday. Este Friday? Yes. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, this thing went fast. Esto se fue rapidísimo. And, but don't worry. We will keep in touch. Vamos a seguir en contacto. Uh, Sonia tiene que preguntar. Yep. Sonia, tell me. Usted va a seguir con nosotros el próximo módulo. I don't know. Eso sí no lo sé. You can... Uh, ese tipo de preguntas. You can, say, you can ask it to Elena. Pueden consultarle a Elena. Ah, ok. Han recibido okay. mensajes de Elena, ¿verdad? No la tengo en mente, pero regularmente los cambian de grupo, por lo visto. If you check, not necessarily, uh, sometimes I get like two or three levels, the same group. A veces llevo el mismo grupo por dos o tres niveles. Sometimes okay. they rotate us. Algunas veces nos rotan. Uh, both things are good. Las dos cosas son buenas. Okay? Because if I continue with you, I mean we... We continue a process that we started. Continuamos con un proceso que comenzamos. If we rotate, it's also good for you because you get to practice new activities. Ustedes también van a practicar nuevas actividades. Even the way in which we prepare our presentations vary a little bit. También la manera como preparamos las presentaciones. Besides the accent, is another accent. So you are going to be listening to some different people speaking in English, which is going to be good for you. Y ustedes van a estar escuchando a otras personas hablarles inglés, lo cual va a ser bueno para ustedes. Uh -huh. Ok. So, okay. That's, that's very, very, I mean, that's actually good. And if I get to see you, just a minute, just a minute, Vladimir. Y si yo me los encuentro más adelante, I mean, I'm not going to be speaking with you like this. No les voy a estar hablando with this speed, con esta velocidad. Not with this short, uh, I mean, very pointed vocalization, ni con esta vocalización tan marcada. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I get to see you again for, forward on, perhaps I'm going to be speaking with you using this different, a little bit of different accent and speed. If you can see, it changes a little bit, but it's according to the level that in which perhaps I will be finding you, okay? And also, I'm going to be including a little bit more of new vocabulary. Entonces, voy a estar incluyendo... El acento se mantiene. I mean, I'm, I'm a Latin. Soy latino. Okay? My accent is the accent in which I speak. But perhaps the vocalization changes. This is basic. That's why I take more time in order to, voca to vocalize the words more properly. Because you need that. Porque ustedes en este momento necesitan eso. You need me vocalizing more the most in the most proper possible way, de la manera más apropiada posible. But I mean, that's why I tell you it's good if we continue and it's good if we change. Ambas cosas son buenas for you. Okay? For me it's perfect. I mean, I don't mind. For me no hay ningún problema. But uh, those type of questions, I don't know because it doesn't depend on me. No depende de mí. Sometimes I stay like two or three courses with the same group, and sometimes they change me. Y a veces me cambian. Okay? Yes, Vladimir? Me I speak Spanish? Yeah, sure. Eh, abonando lo que dice Sonia, o sea, yo tuve una experiencia hace un par de años cuando estaba haciendo en la UCA. Eh, eh, lo que dice usted es cierto. Si seguimos con usted, pues es, es fantástico, ¿verdad? Porque ya nos, nos conoce el ritmo y toda la cuestión. Porque cuando nos cambiaron en del nivel, al nivel 3, nos tocó una chava que hablaba inglés, pero nativo de Estados Unidos, porque ella ha vivido ya. Qué diferencia se siente o sea, en el acento y todo, y si uno no le agarra cuando está en beginners. Esa era la acotación que quería hacer. Yeah, but, I mean, don't worry for that. I mean, um, they do not place us in these levels just, just for kicks, I mean. No se preocupen, no, eh, I mean, inglés corporativo analiza a quienes nos colocan acá. And there are many factors included in this, y hay muchos factores incluidos en esto. Because, I mean, basics, believe me, these courses are kind of the hardest. Estos cursos, los básicos, for the teacher, eh, son los más cansaditos. 
I mean, the advances are piece of cake. O avanzados, we go fast and we speak a lot and we analyze a lot of information. Basics are more difficult. And if they place, place us here, is not just because of the level of English, not solamente el nivel de inglés, it's also the, 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 the methodology, the personal methodology, the styles of teaching, también el estilo que uno tiene a la hora de enseñar, so don't worry. And I mean, uh, we have uh, oh, the group of teachers that we have, oh, I mean, I've been working, I've been teaching for more than 20 years up now. Yo estaba dando clases por más de 20 años. Y créanme, I got some class, some co-workers that all my respect to them. Todo mi respeto para ellos. I mean, they are pretty dynamic. They prepare a lot of material. They got a lot of resources. And the style is something that I really admire. Y el estilo es algo que yo realmente admiro. And I mean, Believe me, some things I copy from them because that's the way it, this thing is. Así se maneja esto. I mean, we see something that works, we get it and we apply it. Si vemos que algo funciona, lo cogemos del otro y lo aplicamos. Uh, so don't worry. If you get a different teacher, be sure that that person is, I mean, the, the, the people in charge really thought about it. Si cambiamos, no se preocupen. Ten seguros que la persona a cargo lo pensaron y lo analizaron a quién colocan y por qué. Ok. So, be, you can be calm and sure about it. Así que pueden estar tranquilos. Let's continue because we still have some minutes. My gosh, it's hot today. Ok, yeah, and I forgot the, 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 the fan. Ok, let's continue, let's continue. So, Right now, I need you to think not just about your room. I need you to think about the different locations in your house. Okay? Listen. Sorry. Listen to this. Okay. In front of my studio, there's... Well, I live in, uh, I live in San Martin. And I will describe to you my house. Okay, there are three bedrooms in my house. There is one garage. There are two bathrooms. There is one living room. There is one dining room and there is one kitchen. Okay, there are many cabinets in my kitchen. Let me see, there is one patio in the back of my house, patio. And this word, please, we have patio and we have backyard. Se las escribo porque las van a usar. Patio is el patio que conocemos. Patio. Ok, patio. The difference between patio and backyard is this. Patio, cement. Or, 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 or any kind of floor. Cualquier tipo de piso. That's patio. Backyard, if it's dust or grass or flower or trees. Cuando decimos backyard, Es porque la yarda es... I'm sorry, la yarda. That's uh, Spanish. Okay. Uh, the yard. When we talk about the yard, es el patio trasero. Backyard es el patio trasero, pero no tiene cemento, ni piso, ni nada. Es tierra, o grama, o flores, o plantas. That's the difference. If you say, if you say a patio, es con cemento, es un piso. Okay. If you say backyard, it's not. Now, let me see. I was telling you... Oh, I got, uh, well, I got a patio, and I got a cistern in my house. I got one cistern in my house. There are mm, two air conditioners in my house. And there are two 
ceiling fans, ceiling, techo, but when I say ceiling, es el cielo, ok, not the roof, no el techo, techo. two ceiling fans, two ventiladores de techo, and two other fans, ok, did you see what I just did? ¿Se fijaron lo que dije? I just described to you my house, ok, now, your homework, guys, su tarea. I like the way Ivania looks at me when I say tarea, she goes like, mm. okay, your homework. For tomorrow, I need you to please send me, you can send it to the group or in private, no problem, the description of the locations of your house like that. La descripción de su casa, sí. There is, there are, like, uh, Sonia, how many bedrooms are there in your house? Four. Okay, say the sentence, please. There are four um, rooms in my house. Bedrooms. Bedrooms in my house. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, thank Vladimir, you. how many bathrooms are there in your house? Bathrooms. Bathrooms. Just one. Okay, there is one bathroom in my house. There is one bathroom in my house. Okay. Y, y hacemos cola. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot one. And it's the, 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 se me olvidó mencionarles uno. Y por si alguno de ustedes también lo tiene, you can include it. Laundry room. Okay. Remember, laundry room is el cuarto de lavandería. Okay. That's because you have a room where you have the dryer, the washer. Es una habitación donde está la lavadora, la secadora. That's the laundry room. Mm -hmm. okay. I have a question. Yes, tell me. ¿Cómo se dice cuando el baño no es completo? O sea, que hay okay. como baños completos con regadera y alguno no. Half bathroom. Oh, yeah, that's right. In my case, I should have told you that I have two. Look. In my case, I have two full bathrooms, okay? And some houses they have, in the description of algunas casas van a encontrar in English, one and a half bathroom, un baño y medio, uh -huh. Because the other one is the social bathroom, right? Porque el otro es el baño social, okay? Is there another question about the location? Otra pregunta? Let's see if we talk about everything. We could talk about the garage. Uh, cistern is cistern. Cistern is cisterna. Uh, backyard, garden, bathroom, living room, dining room, bedroom, laundry room, the appliances. The appliances, uh, the appliances are Cuando uso esta palabra, appliances, there's like the cabinets, okay, the fans, they're conditional, those are the appliances, okay? So, that's your homework. Any question about the homework? Preguntas con la tarea? No? Okay, so, remember, it's short, es corto, I don't want like... I mean, you don't need to do it like I did, the, the whole explanation. I need at least five sentences, okay? With five sentences, I will be satisfied. Con cinco oraciones estaré satisfecho. If you can do more, perfect. Si puede hacer más, perfecto. But please, do not make less than five, okay? So, hey guys, thank you very much. I really appreciate having you here. Uh, y a todos los que estuvimos uniformados son blue. I see one, two, three, four. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Have a good night. Good night to everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Everybody but Elwin. <laughs> Elwin's got to work. See you, man. Take care. <laughs> See you, teacher. See ya.
Bye, Karen. I hope everything goes well. Espero que todo les salga bien. And let's finish our meeting right now.